put some water on your face. Tap in. Come back. Check out the video. It's getting crazy right here. This is crazy. I'm going to explain something, y'all. This is different. This is a different type of video. This is diving deep into situations that uh, people don't really touch on. I'm touching on situations and topics that people on YouTube never touch on. So when you like, subscribe, and comment to this channel, just know you're going to get something different than the rest. That's all it is. It's something totally different from the rest. From a totally... Just tune in. All right, so what's going on now? You got the blue boy zip with the drip conversation. Okay, on the phone. Sammy got tired of me doing the videos with the blue boy tap dancing and all that. He got tired of that. Listen. Boy, good. That's good. He good. Why would they be saying something happened to you up here? He was good. Blue boy, good. That's good. But um, shout out to Blue Boy. But yo, right? The thing what I'm saying is, this is not so much of a this video. This is I want to talk to y'all. I want to talk to the people, and I want to talk to the YouTubers. Because right? I'm seeing a lot of things that's just hypocritical. All right? So now, first of all, got Blue Boy in the phone call. So you mean to tell me, this is what y'all mean to tell me, right? You mean to tell me that we in the new era. This new day and age, this new style, this new way of doing things. Things that would never have been accepted before. So we all these gangsters, all these killers, you know, you can't make it up about how all these gangster killers are just gangsters and murderers and killers. And they love themselves so much, right? But anyway, we're in a time where you cool with the people who robbed you? That's all I'm asking. That's all I want to ask. All this real stuff going on out here, man. You, 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 you guys, you guys are confusing the people. You're confusing everybody. Anybody who's looking at you, you're confusing them. You got to remember, these people don't know you. They only go by what you say and what you do. All right? These people don't know you. So, you mean to tell me Nowadays, you get cool with the people who stuck you up. It's cool to promote it. But let me tell y'all why it's cool. It's cool for Zip, little Sammy. It's cool for Sammy to promote it. Let me tell you why. I'm going to dive deep into why he feels the need to... To hear the conversation, to have the conversation with Blue Boy on the phone and upload it. This is more, this is a whole nother form of extortion. I'm, I'm keeping it gangster. This is real gully. I'm the official. Peep the dribble. Peep the dribble. Peep the dribble, bro. You heard It's more extortion. It's another form of extortion. It's friendly. It's called. Let me tell you what it's called. Friendly extortion. You know, hey, yo, man, here, do this or else. Yeah. 
put some water on your face. Yeah. Yeah. Friendly extortion. Okay. You know what it is. It's called friendly extortion. Okay. That's what it is. Friendly extortion. So, you mean to tell me that I rob you and you become my bestie? Or real cool. Where they do that at? Where they do that at? I'm just trying to figure it out. I want to help the people understand everything from different angles. You got to understand this, what's going on right now. I am absolutely the greatest at explaining stuff to people and letting people understand and know how it really is, the real, the, 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 the true feeling of situations. So you post in Blue Boy after he robbed you. I'm just, I'm just, this is not really so much about this video. This is me wanting to teach the people and show them different angles on how to live and how to be. Okay? So you rob, you, 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 cool with the person that robbed you. Right? Do you know? Do you understand? And know the risk that was took. Do you do you understand the risk that was that's get that's taken when you when you when you when you have loved ones? I'm just explaining it. Look, let me tell you something. I'm explaining things about a, a lot of different people. A couple of different guys on YouTube and stuff like that. Let me tell y'all. Stop feeling like, yo, every time somebody tell me something about myself. Or every time somebody tell me about myself, I want to do something to him. I see him is on site. I want to find. Then get out of here. Get your illiterate self out of here. You literally get yourself out of here. Get your you you got to be one of the dumbest people in the world. If you feel like every time somebody tell you something you don't want to hear, you want to do something to them. It's beef. It's on site. No, it ain't on site. It's a bozo. Okay, you gonna you 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 guys need to be talked to like this. See, this is what your mother and your father skipped. See what I'm saying? When they skip stuff like that, you go out in the world and you think everybody just got to uh, form into the way you want everything. This is never, ever going to happen. Your asses, a lot of your asses need me to talk to you like this. You need it. This is why you're attracted to the video. When you see me on the down low, a lot of people talking about they got more subscribers than me. Guess what? My videos still get the same similar views. How about that? Yeah. I got people, you, 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 you know, a lot of you guys got more subscribers, but my videos get the same views or more. I got videos that I seen got more than y'all's. In the, in the week or two, you put them up, and I look at some of mine, got more views than yours. So sh get out of here with that. Go put some water on your face. Okay, we all here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sit with that for a minute. Think about that. Okay, back to what I was saying. You sorry niggas. You, you, you're not going to be sitting around thinking you want to do something to somebody every time they tell you something you don't want to hear. That's your problem with your life. That's why your life is the way it is. Because you don't want to hear nothing nobody got to tell you. Hey, no, you're going to get this work. You're going to listen to this channel, nigga. Listen to every word I tell you, boy. All of y'all, whoever I address, listen to what I'm telling you, boy. Don't have, don't, 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 don't want to do nothing to nobody. Because yeah, everybody ain't going to go for what you're trying to do when you see them. When you see them, you might get your head cracked. Yeah. Whole lot. Now, listen. You mean to tell me 
that these niggas get cool with niggas after they rob them. That's what Sammy does. Sometimes you got to take a different route to get into someone's heart. It ain't always the nice route. Sometimes you got to do bad things to people to get to the good spaces in their heart. Yeah, put some more on your face on that one. Yeah. And that's what Sammy is. He's confused. He's institutionalized. And there's no way around it. Right? This, this is not really formed up as a diss, Sammy. This is me talking to you. Showing you how you're institutionalized. Showing you the things that you do wrong. And I'm going to show you. It's a different segments. I'm going to show you why you do what you do. I'm going to tell you why you do what you do. And what made you post the conversation of you and Blue Boy. See, when you got some, when you got rumors of, 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 of people doing you dirty, you stay away from them. Especially if it's true. See, but what Sammy is out here trying to do, he don't got love for nobody. He don't got love for Blue Boy. I don't sense real uh, genuine love. You got that. You got thousands and thousands of people talking about how he played you out. How you how you gave him your, your weed when y'all was locked up. Now that's your boy. They do that at Gangsta. Gangsta, gangsta, gang, gang. Listen. Where they do it at? I'm just asking. Maybe it's something I don't know. Fill us in. Because this is not looking good. It's not looking good, buddy. Where do they rob people and you become friends and you post them? See, only reason why Zip, Sammy, only reason why Sammy wanted to post them. Let me tell you why Sammy posted them. He's trying to prove to you guys after all the videos circulating about him, about a blue boy robbing him, taking his weed, him taking a risk. I'm going to tell you that story too. There's no, there's no way in the hell. There's no way in hell you want to be cool with somebody like that. That did this to you. Shout out to blue boy. I hope the best for him. Everything, bro. This is a new era. Them young kids don't care. Nobody don't care about the, the history, the stories. We wasn't there. We don't know. Homeless. Young. That's the world we living in right now, bro. But what I'm going to tell you is, there's no way in the world you get cool with people after they rob you. Only reason why Zip, Sammy, Davis Jr. posted the video because he want to show the people that, nah, me and him cool. Me and Blue cool. He played me. Took my stuff, but we cool. That wasn't a good chess move because you showing the people, yeah, you got a little bit of views, but that ain't about nothing. It ain't about nothing again, is what I'm telling you. I'm gonna put this feeling in you because you got the little hype feeling, you got a lot of views, and yeah, I bet people know now me and Blue Cool, nigga. Yeah, you do. No. No, this is the wrong thing. You did the wrong thing. You're out here clout chasing. That's a form of clout chasing way in the world somebody forces you to tell your loved ones or whoever love you to take a risk freedom risk to bring you drugs go through that risk this is the procedure Big risk, travel for hours. You go to the block, to the neighborhood. Where you, this is what has to happen. I'm going to tell you what has to happen. I'm going to explain to the process so you can know what has to happen. You got to go to the hood, the loved ones. Sometimes they got regular jobs. They're not in the street like that. They don't know nothing about them street lives. So they now they got to call somebody that they know, a friend or whatever, and go to the hood, or they have somebody that they know know somebody go to the hood you gotta go to the ghetto I ain't all the people that never been to the ghetto listen up you gotta go to the ghetto you gotta find the people that sell the drugs after you locate them 
You got to purchase. You got to take your hard-earned work and money. However you get your money, whatever you do in, in your life. You got to go to the block and purchase the drugs from the dealer. Download, purchase. And put it away. You look both ways. You get back in your vehicle. Now you might get stopped. You're hoping you don't. First of all, when you look both ways, the way undercovers move, they be somewhere sitting somewhere. So when you cop the drugs from the dealer to take to Sammy Davis Jr., all these risks got to be taken. Let me tell you, let's explain the process to you so you can understand. Yeah, put some water on your face. We're going to take it real slow. Okay? So when usually when you right there on the block and you look both ways, Police be hiding. They jump out right then and there and get you. Now you go to jail. Now you in the cell next to Sammy talking about how you was going to bring him the drugs. Yeah. If it's a female, you in the female part. Said it writing letters to him. Y'all was going to bring you, but they got me. Whatever you're doing, you're doing that, right? So if you get past that part, if you were successful, yeah, put some water on your face. All the people that don't know about the ghetto and the streets and all that, I'm here to explain it to you. If you get past that part and you make it back to your vehicle with the drugs, you made it to the vehicle. You get in the car. You're trying to drive home. Listen, you can get stopped. You can get pulled over. Anything can happen while you're driving with them drugs to take home. To you driving with the drugs to take home to wait for the visiting day. To when it's time to go take the drugs up there to Sammy to give him the drugs. Yeah, this is the process. Okay? Now, you made it home. You got the drugs. If you make it home, if you don't get pulled over, if you make it home, yo... You made it home. You made it home with the drugs. You stash the drugs. You stash the drugs. The, the visiting day might not be for another two, three days. Good. It depending on how far the person is. Depending on how far Sammy's at. It's your comeback. Earn a degree you'll be proud of. Depending how far Sammy's at, or whoever you're going to see, he good, blue boy good. Yo, look. How far Sammy is, you might have to leave a day or two earlier. Yeah, put some water on your face. You might have to leave your home to go visit Sammy a day or two earlier, or whoever you're going to see. Yeah, you might have to see him a day or two earlier. So that means if you're a day or two earlier, it's a day or two earlier. You got to set up, get ready to travel, and. Don't forget that. But you got to set up, get ready to travel. Then, you got to go. Some, some of them be 10 hours away. Yeah. Put some water on your face. 10 hours away, 15, 20 hours a day away, shit like that. Yeah. So you set up, you got the drugs. You get on the bus or whatever you could, but sometimes the buses. Got the drugs hidden on you. The drugs is hidden. Wherever you're hiding. These are all the risks. You ain't even get to Sammy yet. I'm explaining to you all what happens when someone robs you. Or some, excuse me. Or someone takes something from you. When you went through a whole lot to get it. I'm going to just explaining it so you guys can understand. Yeah, you gotta know it ain't that easy, doctor. 
You got to know what's going on here. Yeah. So when they took the long trip, they took the long trip a day away. You get on this bus or whatever you're going, you, 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 you know, these crackers, everybody's looking at you. Sometimes they stop and bring dogs on the, uh, on the buses and stuff like that to sniff out stuff, to see if they smell any drugs. They try to get the person way before they even reach to you. Yeah. How many risks did I just name? Like, keep it real, bro. Like, stop me when I'm wrong. That's all. Just stop me when I'm wrong. Say, you know, you're lying. That don't happen. It's not true. That's all you got to do. Okay, leave it in the comments. Okay, you need to pack your lying. That don't happen. I've been through the procedure. It's wrong. You're a liar. You're a bozo. If I'm lying, say it. All right? You might not make it. They bring dogs. They try to intercept you before you get there. So, okay. Everything's great. You made it. Now you get to the hotel where you gotta be at oh because sometimes you gotta stay there for two days three days you go to the from the hotel you go to the see them and then come back and it's like that yeah it's a whole big 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 big, big huge process now they made it there they made it to the hotel they made it it's time to, you unpack you put your thing you're gonna be there for two three days now you're going to see sammy boom you put the drugs away you stash it you're on the way to the jail. And I'm skipping parts. It's a lot, man. I just want to show y'all how it's not that easy like that. To just be so, it's not easy like that, bro. So now look. They made it. They got to the, they on the bus going to the actual place to see Sammy now. To the jail. You gotta stash the drugs real good now, boy. You on your way to the jail. They are prepared for this type of stuff happening every single day. Okay? They got an eye out for it. They're, they're expecting it. They're expecting you to have drugs or something for you. Because they know he's going through pain, mental anguish. Right? Listen. So they stashed the drugs real good now. Now they get on the bus. They get on the thing. They made it to the jail. They get out. You go in another room. You got to walk through metal detectors. If you're a female, you got other female police officers searching you down to the bone. They're going to go hard on you. They know all the spots. They're used to it. Put some water on your face. This is about the zip with the drip. Blue ball call. Phone call. Yeah. Now, you made it. They're searching you. The female searching you. The man searching you. Whoever you, whatever you, they got. Everything, but you're walking through metal detectors. If you get through all those different things. Free radicals are everywhere. If you get through all those different things, then you make it to the visiting floor. I mean, you had to pass all those different things, bro. That's a big risk. You spent your money, your time, everything's invested in this right now, right? Your freedom, everything's invested in this. You got a job and kids at home? Oh, you got kids at home? Don't worry about your kids, because if anything go wrong, somebody will take care of them. It gets dangerous, bro. It gets deep. Is what I'm, I'm just trying to show you the deepness. You get to the floor, the visiting floor. Now you got to wait for your Sammy to come down. Sammy comes down. He's been put. He's used to. I ain't got no oranges or nothing in here right now. He used to put in mother load. They call it the mother load. The big drugs in the balloons. The big balloons. He's he's you. For 18 years, he's been exercising, stretching, working the muscles of the anal for 18 years. So that means he could get a he's like rubber like 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 plastic man, like like rubber made. 
you, you could just whatever you do, like whatever you press against the hole, it just eats it. <laughs> but look, so now Sammy gets there, right? It's more risk involved. It's not over. You gotta get there. Now, like I said, these people are trained. They're wired for this. They got an eye for this. While you're on the floor, the visitor has to successfully retrieve the drugs from wherever they stashed it and successfully pass it Fake hug, fake kiss, whatever you're doing, you gotta fake pass it to them. To the, when Sammy gets it, if that goes good, if you get past that, because if they see that, they're gonna come over there. If, 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 if you get past that stage, then you gotta successfully put it, buff it. You gotta buff it. Now, before you buff it, you gotta be in a good position because if anybody see you, you're gonna get caught right there red handed. But see, being that Zip's anal is exercised and has worked for 18 years, all you gotta do is play it off and go like this. <laughs> and it buffed up. Like, <laughs> all you gotta do is do like you talk. Or a fake kiss or something, it, it goes up easy. And this is the mother load. You just gotta go. <laughs> Do a talk like, yeah, baby, you coming next week? Yeah, baby, give me his. And it's up there. He's like, yeah, that's gone. That's one. Give me the other one. Yeah, put some water on your face. This is what has all this has happened. Then when he get back, right, all right, the visit on my speed up. The visit is over. He's like, yeah, I'm good. I got the mother load, nigga. It's lit. It's lit, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. All that, right? If you make, he got to Now he's got to go back. He got to get back. Got to make it back. Because on the way back, he got to go through searches, metal detectors. The same thing they had to go through on the way. So now getting back, he got to go through all that. It's a lot. Risk is what I'm explaining to you. I want to I want to put this in you so you can understand the feeling of what you gotta go through to receive this, the mother load. So after you successfully go through all, after they successfully do all that from the hood all the way to the jail, for the, and you successfully do all this and all that and everything. Everything goes great. You actually make it. You make it back to your cell. And you got your goods. Wow. That is an enormous procedure. It's extremely risky. Risking your loved one's life. Your loved one's risking their life. They putting everything on the line. <laughs> they putting everything on the line. Because they want you to be all right and to feel good and go through what you're going through, you know, the best way you can. Granted, now, you mean to tell me after all of that, you're going to go and let somebody say, yo, they put that knife on the gate. You even get that, that mother load up? Or else? I drive. The easy and effective CRM to drive it through. You ever put you either put that on the on the on the on the on the uh or else? What? Wait a minute. What? 
are you saying here right now, bro? And I, I like you. You don't like nobody that do that to you. You lying. There's no way you can like somebody that do that to you. Give you what they just went through. And then you need that for your mental state. Why are you going to do what you're going to do? What do you mean? Give it to you. <laughs> what do you mean? It just don't even... It don't even, that shit don't even make sense, bro. What are you talking about? All right. You know what? I'm scared. I don't want to go through it. I'm going to give it to you. Yo. Yo. When you say to yourself, I'm going to give it to you. I don't want the problems. I don't need everything. And that might be the best decision. The best executive decision to make. It might be. But you're not going to be happy with that person. There's no way in the world you're happy with that person. You just lost that. You just took the wild risk. Your loved ones just took... Do you know what type of... What you did to your loved ones that took that risk to bring that to you? Do you know how you betrayed them? Do you know how you made them feel? That they did all that for some other person to be like, Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying, son? And we was doing this and that and the dirty. Yeah, yo, 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 eat that. It does, uh, you, 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 got, yo, you got that bread for me? I just gave you the, what's the name? You got the bag? Yeah, I got it. Yo, send that other 200 to me. This is what they doing now. They making money. They smoking. They talking with their people. Loved ones, yo, it's lit. We good. All for you and your loved ones, your people that took the risk. You can't be serious. You can't make this up to me. Get off of YouTube front. Get off of YouTube. This is not happening. I can't believe this is real life right now in these day and ages. I can't believe it. Okay? I can't believe it. There's no way in the world. There's no way in the world. That is no way in the world, bro. And you could feel like, yo. <laughs> it's so crazy, man. I just got so much to share. I see this in so many different bad ways. It's like, yo, man. So the extortion didn't stop. Your home, and it still didn't stop. You still gonna get my message out there. You still gonna tell, and you're gonna want to do it. You know why you're gonna want to do it? Because you're gonna feel like it's clearing you with the people. Oh, nah, him and Blue Boy is good. See, you know, the subscribers, they could love yo, nah, him and Zip is good. They're not with me. Look at those st stupid subscribers. Yo, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's the person who robbed him. Do you remember? Go back to hip-hop. Do you remember? You remember the child rule 50 cent beef? I'm just using these guys. These guys is okay. But I'm just using these guys as an example. The child rule 50 cent beef. Do you know 50 cent wasn't the guy that robbed Ja Rule? Yeah. Put some water on your face. 50 cent was not the guy that robbed Ja Rule. He was simply around the guy that robbed Jabu. So what I'm trying to explain to you guys, like, comment, and subscribe to the real channel if you want the real, period. I'm not convincing nobody, none of that. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to hear the real. When you listen to my videos, you're going to understand, okay, it's coming with the real. Even Ja Rule wouldn't be cool with 50. And he wasn't even the guy that robbed him. This is what I'm trying to get to you. Do you understand? I want you to stay with me. Put your thinking caps on. He's not even the guy. I won't even be. He wouldn't even be. Uh, ja Rule wouldn't be. And anybody else. They won't even be cool with the guy. That you know. That knows you. 
that knows the person who robbed them, let alone being cool with the actual robber. The actual robber? Where they do it at? So you got Ja Rule wouldn't even be cool with 50 Cent because he knew. Just, just, just if you know the guy that robbed me, I can't be cool with you. This guy, Sammy, is cool with the actual robber. Putting them on, it's okay. Post them, do everything. You got love for them now. You forgave them. Great. Y'all cool. I got no gripes with that. Rude Boy seems like a good guy. You might want to be his friend. That's cool. That's great. But what I'm saying, Sammy, where they do that at, gangster? People who rob you, you don't be cool with. They just, I just showed you the, I just told you the, the, the process. You look past that whole process. Your family going to jail. You look past your, them spending their money risking to get their drugs up there. Taking a day to travel again. You look past all that. You look past you sitting in the visiting room. Stuffing it. You had to take a risk to get that back there. You look past all that. And then got back to sell them. Put it in the blue boy hand. And now you're happy with them. That's all I'm asking. I just want to know how. If you're cool, you're cool. I've got no problem with that. But don't, you know, when you do things to portray yourself a certain way, certain components is not supposed to be there. Certain components of what you're doing is not supposed to be there. Not when you're claiming a certain road. When you're claiming a certain road, you can't take shit off this road and take it with you down on this road and think you're, you're still getting the credit for being on this road. Doctor, do you understand me? You understand this? Okay, good. You do understand this, don't you? I know you do. So what I'm trying to tell people, it's just like the... Uh, there's a couple things I want to touch on. There's a couple things I want to touch on. Because a lot of y'all contradictions is is weird. Okay, you're weird. It's too much sucker, fake stuff on this internet. Let me address it. Yeah. Too much sucker. Fake stuff on this internet, bro. Too much sucker. Fake stuff on this internet, bro. Now you got the Brian Glaze Gibbs kid. I, I want to say something to you. The Brian Glaze Gibbs guy. You know, uh, I take back anything, any, anything that you might have not liked that I ever said to you or, or did anything towards you. You know, it's because it's the way I am. I don't really do stuff. Can't have this much sense and do things that go against your character. And that's not in my character. But anything I ever said to you, because you was talking crazy about Bim. You was talking Brian Glaze Gibbs. Yes, this is to you. You know, you was talking crazy about Bim. You still got your videos up there talking crazy about Bim. So I said a couple things to you to address you. But let me tell you something, bro. You guys are confusing people out here. And and and, and because and again, stop feeling like you see, what you guys gotta stop doing is as men, you gotta stop you, you know, stop feeling like you wanna do something to somebody. Every time somebody say something you don't like, yo, I see him is on. Stop doing that. It's illiterate, ignorant, sucker shit. All right, period. You got big people, billionaires, multi-hundred millionaires debate all the time. Don't agree about nothing. It's business. This is what they do. They're not agreeing. And they're not after each other. They see each other and shake hands. How you doing? In, in total disagreement. Politicians do it all the time. Presidents do it all the time. You ghetto-minded, ignorant guys got to get out of here. Get lost. Scram, yo, with that. Get that out of here. Now let me talk to you, Brian. Mr. Mr. Gibbs. How Gibbs, how Zip say it, Mr. Gibbs. 
Mr. Gibbs, after all this gangster stuff, and then you, you you talk crazy to the man, and now you're on videos talking about Mr. Gibbs, Mr. Gibbs. Like, like Sammy, you're just a joke. You, you, you got a lot of jokes in you, man. I'm letting you know, all right? So, uh, Brian Gibbs. Brian Glaze Gibbs. This to you, brother. Pardon me for the disrespect, because certain things ain't in my character. You can't be a certain way and do certain things. It just don't add up. So my bad for any shade I threw your way. But I'm going to tell you the reason why I did it. Because why I do whatever little things. Because guess what, man? You guys is not setting good examples the way y'all think y'all. Right? Brian Glaze Gibbs. I'm talking to all y'all. I'm talking to everybody, bro. I'm talking to all y'all. Okay? You and Bimmy was all right. I used to, me and Bim running around. I see you on the phone with him. You're on the phone. Yo, yo Gibbs. You and me and Bim running around, bro. Running around doing little taking care of whatever we doing. And you on the phone with Bim. Y'all was cool. I was on your channel shouting you out. Yo, Brian Gibbs, what up? Yeah. Put some water on your face. I don't understand it. See, when you sitting on the side and you're witnessing everything, you just got to witness it and be like, okay, this was going on. You got to know when I'm riding around, and I'm out, when I was running around doing what I'm doing, if I'm out, me and Ben running around doing something, I got to take notes on who's cool with us and who's the ops. Who's the niggas we cool with and who's the niggas we not cool with? You guys are confusing as fuck. You guys is phony as fuck. It's a bunch of hypocritism, if that's a word. It's too much going on. You're cool one day with each other. And these is gangsters. Real gangsters. You're cool one day. The next day you're chatty patty about each other on the goddamn internet. Who are you guys? What the fuck is your niggas real niggas or what, nigga? Now I got to reprimand you niggas. I got to come around and talk to you niggas now. Yeah. Put some water on your face. Because this is why a nigga like me, I back out. I shy away from all that shit. Because when you when you got the big dogs, the ones that's been doing all this stuff all this all these years and got all these reputations to their name, and then you and then y'all come around doing bozo shit, where do that leave us? Mr. Brian Glaze Gibbs, where do that leave? Answer the video, nigga. Answer the video, nigga. Don't, you know, because I get annoyed, man. I get annoyed. Everybody gets annoyed. Everybody gets angry. Oh, this angry. coffee is gross. I, is everybody could crack a nigga head. Remember that. This gas station, yeah. Glenn, but you'll never Remember that. Keep that in, keep that in, your, in your mind. And as you see, the new, the new people don't care about none of those stories. You crack your old head. I'm not saying that I'm, I'm going to crack your head, Glaze. But I'm just telling you, you see what happened with Blue Boy, right? Nobody cares about the stories, bro. You get old. You get old, nigga. All right? You get young people with fresh blood, a lot of energy. <clears throat> throw, throw blows real quick. Punch your face real quick. You got to stop thinking is you're in the wrong year. You're in the wrong decade. Them days is over. This to all y'all. All y'all big wannabe gangsters from... Past tense. This is for all of you. It's over, buddy. You're an old man. Put some water on all your faces. You niggas is old. All right? You're old. You don't got the same movement. Okay? You don't got the same pizzazz. The spunk ain't there. You thinking in your mind is there. You see that new one with that fast movement? It's going to be like lightning. So stop. Playing with people now. Back to what I'm telling you, Glaze. Where do that leave us? If all you gangster niggas is, where do that leave us? Okay, this is what I want to talk to you about. Where? Answer the video, nigga. Because I get more views than a lot of y'all with more subscribers anyway. So.
It ain't like you don't see me. You see me. I'm in the building. I'm in the building. So now, where do that leave us, Glaze? If all you niggas is turned to, yeah. Just keeping it real. We're going to talk. We're going to talk. Don't feel like you want to do nothing to me. If you ever see me, you should be able to say, shake your hand, Pat. You're a real man. You stated your opinion. I respect it. That's how you do it. Grown man shit. Where do that leave us? If all you niggas turn to snitches, rats, bozos, uh, uh, hypocrites, fake niggas, fake gangsters, the zip nigga, the zip nigga gets robbed from Blue Boy and he's his bestie now. Where they do all this shit at? I'm sitting over here looking like y'all, everything looks like a circus to me, man. All these YouTubers, you got the million dollar bum, Hassan Campbell over here, thinking he, he put everybody on when he was the puppy eyes, sad nigga with a soggy t-shirt on, needing Sarnetta, needing Doggy Diamonds, needing Star. All these short memory ass niggas, man. is a pain in the ass. You niggas, you niggas, some sorry niggas. It's a bunch of y'all, man. But being that I'm talking to you right now, Glaze, I'm going to just say this. Because even though they say you snitched, It's something about you that I really fuck with, that I like. Something about you, bro. Something about you, bro. The way you come off, maybe it's your new, uh, your newfound way of being. Maybe it's your new outlook where you're trying to help people now. I don't know what it is, but I, you know, I like that, man. Keep doing what you're doing as far as helping the people and trying to make change and making sure the, the youth don't come up messed up. But guess what? Where, where did that leave us when y'all main gangsters with all these stories on YouTube, these Supreme and, 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 and Brian Glaze Gibbs and, 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 and just, and, and, and God bless just my boy, that's my bro, bro. He showed me so much love. Always show me your black just, bro. Black just, my man, yo. Black just, my man. I swear, I swear. It's like some of you niggas need to switch places with people, man, that left this world, bro. Some of you niggas is so messed up, bro. And they take these good ones, man. And leave you sorry, nasty niggas around, bro. R.I.P. to my boy Black Just, man. So we love as a little nigga coming up, yo. Just wow, cool, bro. I'm just, right now I'm just, just memories going through my mind, yo. I saw the inspiration, the motivation. Oh, God, I feel it in me right now, bro. The motivation that certain people give you. I was blessed. I was raised by gangsters. I was brought up. It was real. The song, Raised by Gangsters, when the Hip Hop Uncovered came out, the show on FX with Bimmy and everybody, and I did that record, Raised by Gangsters. Go look it up. It's on YouTube somewhere. It's the truth. Gangsters like Bimmy and all them raised me, bro. This is what I came up under, man. It's more of them, too. It's so much I don't even name, bro. Y'all niggas got me fucked up. Y'all niggas got me fucked up. God damn it. This shit's amazing how these niggas got me fucked up. Look, YouTube just... Look, tell y'all something. Yeah, Glaze, let me get back to you, bro. Where do that leave us, man? Well, we got to look at all y'all doing all this bozo shit out here being cool with each other and they're not being cool with each other. I'm sitting around like, oh, he is cool? Oh, no, he's not cool now. 
Oh, he, nah, you can be confusing niggas like that. Y'all niggas gotta get your shit together, bro. Get your shit together. All you old head gangsters. All you old timing gangsters. Get your shit together. Get your shit together. Okay, I'm not really on it like that with you, Blaze, because at least. You 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 getting your shit together. You started this new thing where you're helping the youth and you're on it to where you're fixing when I maybe you could tell somebody something that could change their life and help save them before they crash into the brick wall. Cause that's what I'm about. I'm not about all these guys telling all these 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 twenty year jail stories. I don't I am the guy who skipped that. I'm the guy who, who got out the game before my face smashed against the wall and I had to do 24 and all that. I'm that guy. See, give the credit. Let's talk about the guys. You, Brian Glaze Gibbs, you should be making a video on your page about me. You are after helping the youth, right? And making sure uh, uh, nobody do nothing bad if you could save them, right? So why you ain't make a video about me saying this is one of the guys who was in the street who changed his life and he didn't do 20 years in jail. He stayed out in the street. He has a nice body. He works out. He didn't get his body from weights in jail. He got his body from weights in the street. He made a conscious decision to lift weights and to take care and to exercise himself, exercise his mind and do the right things in life. But it's before you come back with a jail story talking about turning to zip with the drip, uh, Sammy Davis, little Sammy Davis Jr., Bill Cosby face Saturday Night Live looking nigga institutionalized talking about all these jail stories nigga y'all need yo you should be doing a video about me bro so when you don't do a video about me it, it only shows me that you're not really that that passionate about helping people helping people change their life because i am a poster boy of it where you niggas at Y'all talk about so much stuff with these institutionalized little jailbirds and they coming home telling all these little stupid jail stories that no real nigga like me gives cares about. I slap anybody's face in two seconds and don't care about the stories that you got in your mind. Put some water on your face. Put some water on your face. Nobody cares. You're in the outside world now, nigga. You know, it's the free land. It's called the free world. I crack your head, you never see me again in life. I'm in Oklahoma. Yeah, this is the free world. This ain't, you gotta see me walking down the corridor. Nigga, wake your asses up. Wake your asses up, nigga. It's time, it's time. Yeah, it's time, Pat. Wake you niggas up. Wake up, nigga. Where do your glaze? Where do that leave us? Is a question I'm asking you, and I want you to answer it, nigga. Don't get on no, 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 doing no other video about nothing else. No, no, no. When you see this and it's sitting in your brain, answer the video, nigga. Okay? Where do that leave us? Where do that leave us? All you gangsters, you no, know, you, you, you killers and murderers that turn rats. Where do that leave us? If we got to watch you sorry niggas be cool one minute, the next minute you're, you're, you're dissing each other by the blood clot YouTube internet. Pussy boy. Now I got to tell you something. Look. Let me tell you something now. Look. You know what? It's not right. Is what I'm telling y'all. You can't be putting this type of images out with these contradictions. You can't do it. You're putting images out with contradictions, contradictions attached to them. Big contradictions. It looks crazy on other from the other side. So uh make your yo Brian, this to you. Make your video about me, man. Tell them how this kid, this young kid that was in the street and did everything with everybody with the real gangsters. Haitian Jack, real gangsters. Show me love, bro. Ricky Lee, real gangsters. Gangsters that was on the other level than you guys. You see how you, everybody's on their own level? Yeah, I got love from gangsters from Levels on other levels than you guys.
Yeah. Put some water on your face. Learn who I am. Pack, boy. Not playing with me. Do your video about me, Glaze. I should see a video with my face up there. Like this. The guy who did everything in the street and changed. Made a conscious decision to change his life before he went to jail for an asshole for all the years. Yeah. Do a video about me. All right? Whole lot. Now. The Zip character. He gets robbed and becomes friends with the guy who robbed him. Where they do that at? This is what I want y'all to understand. We're not gonna sugarcoat this. I just wanna know, and this is not no diss. I, Sammy, I wanna know why, where, what is in your brain that said, I'm gonna be friend blue, we're gonna be cool. He, I just wanna know where it shifted that. That's all. I'm not dissing, I'm not doing nothing. I need to know, and where in your brain did it work to say, I'm a pass of my goods, and we're gonna end up being cool buddies. I just wanna know the story. So now I'm giving you content, because if you ran out of content and you got nothing to, to post about, I'm giving you the story. You can explain to the people how you was able to get robbed by Blue Boy and still become friends. That's the new video for you. It's gonna get 30,000 views. You like views, your interviews and subscribers is going to get a lot of subscribers and 30,000 views. Why? How did I become friends with Blue Boy? That should be the title of your video after being robbed by him. I just told you all the risks that it takes. I just told y'all, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, man. I got like 150 subscribers to go before we go live. Okay? Hurry up. Y'all can do that in one swoop. Y'all can do that in one swoop. First time. On behalf of Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Welcome to Tropic Time. Complimentary goodbye. Yeah, y'all could do that in one swoop. Alright, sir, sir, food page, order smoothies. Unfolded. And they are Why would they be saying something happened to you up there? Yeah, I got jumped. You hear about that? Nah, nah. Where at? Oh, they jumped you? Yeah. Uh, well, afterwards. No, when somebody jumped me, if you got robbed, I'm just saying me, man. Um, this is just weird out here, bro. I know y'all at home, and y'all know what I'm talking about, man. You can't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. I just know. I'm saying to myself, right now I'm just thinking to myself. So you see me thinking, don't worry. I'm thinking to myself saying, if so, I'm trying to fix my brain to say, if, if, if somebody robbed me and took my goods and gangsted me and bullied me, I'm trying to think if I would be feeling sorry for them or talking to them, you know, in the name of this world. And I'm a very extremely forgiving person. I'm extremely forgiving, extremely. Somebody come to me uh, straight up and say, yo, look, I was wrong, bro. I was wrong. I was foul in my movements. I was a sucker. And I should have knew better. I should have knew 
I know who you are. Because a lot of people that do you wrong know who you are. And they know your story. And it don't even make sense. You, you Sometimes you'd be surprised at some people that do you, that do you wrong. Because you'd be saying to yourself, you know better than that. You say to yourself, you know me. You know better than that. You know I'm not that guy. And they still do it. But I'm a very forgiving person. If someone comes to me, don't come with no tricks, don't come with no barriers. Come with the straight up truth, genuinely. Saying, yo, I was a fucking asshole. A bozo. I messed up. I took a loss because of it. And I was wrong. I was wrong. I was so wrong. It's so lonely out here. The people don't add up to you. Nothing adds up to you. These fake niggas don't add up to you. These fake conversations on the phone with these niggas, that's cool one day, next day, they on the internet putting videos up about you. Yeah, I'll put some water on your face. If you come to me like that, I might forgive you. Who knows? But then again, I might not. So it's kind of hard for me to say to myself, how is Zip to give Blue Boy after bullying and robbing him in the worst predicament of your life while you're in prison? Where everything counts, where your name counts, where all that stuff counts. and It's a big deal. Like, a cigarette is a huge deal. And, like, like everything's such a huge deal. So, like, whatever is done in the street, if it's done in there, is like a million times magnified. Yeah. Put some water on your face. I know you understand. Do you understand this? What I'm telling you? I'm talking different. It's only certain people who hide a certain way can understand what I'm saying. Yeah, you'll hear me, but it, it won't. Yeah. That part. Yeah. You got to stop with your nonsense, guys. If you want people to believe what you're saying, it got to add up. It got to match. A lot of your stuff ain't mad. You guys are looking like young, ignorant bozos. A lot of the old-time gangsters out here. Yeah, let me tell it to you. Don't want to beat me up. I get busy, too, and I hit hard, and I lift weights. I do a lot. Be careful with that decision. But what I'm trying to tell you is, A lot of y'all look crazy. Where do that leave us? Where do that leave us? If you guys are so being so contradictive. Doing little kid stuff. These are things I see little teenagers do. Be friends one day. Talk. Tell stories about each other as gangster. And then they dissing each other on social media. The, the kids didn't even do that because they didn't have social media. It kept it was kept quiet. It was only those few people they was doing the sucker shit to because it wasn't that many people. Nowadays, when you do sucker shit and you're like little kids sucker shit, thousands of people know about it instantly. You guys is crazy. You niggas is crazy. And y'all is the gangsters. Natural fit, room for your toes. Stay comfortable. Y'all the gangsters healthy. everybody supposed to look up to. Right? Y'all niggas is the gangsters. I tell you it's over. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. Yeah. It's over. That's what I want to let you know. Your time has passed. Yeah, your time has passed, buddy. It's over. Sit down, tell your little stories about whatever you're telling. Yeah. Okay. Just think about a ninety-year-old man walking with a cane. Talking. I'm telling you, man. I was, I was a killer. I was gonna be. I was doing this. I sold eighteen keys, man. I tell. You, that's how you niggas sound like. Old ass men with a cane walking, talking. I'm telling you, man. I used to let the four or five, four or five blow. I used to do this. I used to do that. I used to kill. I run around. That's how you niggas sound, man. Sit your ass in retirement homes, watch TV, and enjoy the rest of your life. 
If you're not telling nobody nothing positive, don't tell nobody nothing at all. We don't want to hear you. Nobody cares. Yeah. You guys got to remember, in this world, when, 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 yo, look. Everybody in the world wanted to be Pop Smoke. Everybody in the world wanted to be Biggie Smalls. Everybody in the world wanted to be whoever was winning before the tragic situation. Everybody wanted to be everybody before the tragic situation happened. You would have loved to be in that boat, right? As soon as that thing happened, you would you so glad you wasn't there. You, you, what? You don't care about no millions, no money, nothing. You glad that wasn't you, right? All right. All right. Sammy, that was the corniest shit in the world you did. Putting the, uh, the, the, the video. You should have had somebody else post it. But you you didn't do it out of care and concern for Blue Boy. You did it because you wanted views. I'm going to tell you the reasons why you did it. You did it, number one, because you wanted the view count. Number two, you knew it was good because it was you and Blue Boy. Number three, the sweet spot. You did it because you want the people to feel like, nah, Blue Boy ain't play me. Blue Boy, that's my boy. And it, it went wrong. It went wrong. You know why it went wrong? Because you look crazy. You posting people's conversations that robbed you, brother. If Ja Rule was here, he, you know what Ja Rule would say? Because Ja Rule, he don't even be cool. He don't... He not, he not only cool, he's not not only cool with the person who robbed him. He's not cool with the persons who know the person who robbed If you even know the person who robbed him, he's not being cool with you. And he's that's 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 how a 99.9% .9 of real niggas are. Just keeping it a bean. They might want to be cool, whatever. You over there, you chilling with the person that robbed me, they not, I'm not being cool with you. The, with you or him. Zip. Sammy, he's cool with who. See, sometimes you can reach a person's heart by doing the wrong thing to him. Yeah, there's a lot of people out here. The only way to get to him is doing them dirty. See, if you do them good, they're going to hate you. You know how many family members that Zip probably has that you know you grow up with? Sammy, tell the truth. You grow up with cousins, nieces, uncles, aunties. Sometimes people got people in their families that did way less. Keep it real. Put some water on your face. Did way less things to you, and you don't fuck with them at all. Go roll up to that. Go roll up to that. You got people out here with people in their family. I mean, in their blood. That's part of their blood. They blood. Flesh and blood, bro. Flesh and blood, bro. You got people... That was in your life, flesh and blood, man. Grew up with you, aunt, same aunties, uncles. Your auntie is his mother. Brothers, people that you grew up with that wasn't blood, but you grew up together. Hey, Sammy, this question is to you. I need all you to answer the questions because I don't need you acting like you don't hear him. You see what Hassan did? Acting like he don't hear me. When I'm going to put in this video uh, the pages. Who had who page first and who was watching who for years. And you're going to see everything. Yeah. 
tired of playing with y'all. I'm not playing with you guys no more. Playtime is over with y'all. All y'all is little, little, little dudes to me, man. All y'all is little guys to me. You know that. But the people didn't know. So that's what you're thriving off of. Because the people didn't know it. But this question is to you, Sammy. Before I forget. How many people in your life done you dirty? Less, on a way lesser level than robbing you while you was going through the worst time in your life in prison. And you don't rock with them at all. You don't rock with them. What they did to you. If you know Zip Sammy. You know Sammy. From anywhere in real life. And you had any inter, uh, dealings with him. And he don't rock with you no more. Because you did such and such. You you said something. Or you, you did something. And he don't rock with that. And he deaded you forever. Like he, like, like, you, you want to block me on Instagram? Bro, you blocking people on Instagram, bro? Yo, everybody go make a fake page and tell Zip, don't unblock him on, on, on Instagram, Facebook, anything. Don't block nobody. What are you blocking somebody for? Because they said something to you or left a comment in your, in your thing and you came off with, this is what he tells people when they, when they, when they, when they say something wrong to him, suck my nuts, you know, my nuts, get off my balls. Uh -huh. You wouldn't dare say that to Blue Boy. If you say those type of things to people for such lesser situations, but then you would never say that to Blue Boy. And this is the guy who robbed you while you was in prison, going through the worst time of your life, your dad's locked up, your brothers, all these things is horrible in your life. And I'm talking to you on some real level, bro. You got to do some soul searching. Yeah, put some water on your face. You got soul searching to do. Yeah, nigga. See, this is that ether. It's turning into ether right now. Now, when I see the longer I talk, the more ether it gets. It gets more ether. This is why you took the song that I used to, to, for the Million Dollar Bum when I made the record. You used the same song because you felt the ether in it. You said, yeah, this would be good to use. Use what Pac used because if I use what Pac used, Hassan would be real mad because I know he was mad when Pac did it to him. Yeah, ether. All ether was coming out right now. I'm on ether mode. I'm on ether mode. I'm on fire. Listen, let me tell you something. How many people did less things to you, Sammy, that you cut out your life for good? You said, I'll never speak to them again. I'll never speak to them again. I'll never be friends with them again. I'll never do nothing with them, make money, nothing. But you let Blue Boy rob you in the worst time of your life in prison. Made you put your, put your, put your, put your, put your balloon on the gate. Hmm? You know, after, after your loved ones took that long wrist and, and, and came up there and brought it to you, Police, they had to drive the car, get on the bus. They had to do have to go to the metal detectors. They had to deal with the cards, the guards. They had to get searched down. They had to do everything. They had to spend the money. They had to go to the hood, to the ghetto to get that for you and bring that up there to you. You had to buff it. You had to take the risk to go down into the visitor room and bust it. You had to take the risk. You had to go buff it. You had to go back through the metal detectors. You had to go get searched back again. You had to make it back to the cell. You had to get there. You had to shit it out. You had to wash it off. You had to do everything you had to do, cut the balloons open, everything. Then you gave it to Blue Boy. You got to be crazy. But then, you got people in your life like your cousin or somebody who you had a little argument, you had a little fallout. How many people you got in your life had a little fallout? You don't mess with them no more. Period. Ever. You cut them out your life. There's no way they can get back in your life. No way they can get back in your life. Huh? How many, Sammy? If you know Sammy and you watch Sammy get robbed and befriend the person who robbed him and put it and post his video even after. So this means the extortion is continues. If you know him and he cuts you out his life for nothing, for basically nothing, like, comment, subscribe to this channel, and we're going to talk. I want to talk to you. I want to uh, 
I want to talk about the story that he did to you. I want to know what happened, what took place. I want to know everything so we can air it, we can, we can post it, we can talk about it. This is unacceptable. We're not doing this. I'm not letting this ride. See, these YouTubers is not going to get on here and do what they're supposed to do. They're going to get on here and they're going to make stupid videos. They don't know what to say. They're looking for views. They're looking for comments, subscribers, and stuff like that. I'm getting on here and I'm keeping it a bean. This is unacceptable, Zip. For the people and the youth, do not be out here getting robbed at gunpoint and then befriending people and bringing them to your house to eat dinner and meeting your family and your loved ones. Don't be out here doing that. Because it don't matter how gangster you think you're telling yourself or how gangster you think you're portraying yourself to be, it's not gonna So blue, so so zip, Sammy is is is, is posting people that robbed him. So yeah, all the cousins and everybody that that had the fallouts with uh, Sammy zip with the drip with no drip over the years, and he cut you out your life, cut you out his life, huh? He won't deal with you. He won't let you come sit on the couch with him. Right? You can't come sit on the couch with him, cause you had that argument. Remember? Remember the cousin? Remember the cousin? Remember, his, remember you remember that that problem? Now you can't deal. He don't rock with you no more. He don't answer the phone, none of that. But Blue Boy can make him shit out of shit in jail. In the worst position in the, of his life. And when y'all had an argument, he wasn't even locked up. And he don't deal with you no more. Wow. What 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 Blue Boy did to him was in the Worst times of his life. Now, I don't got no problems with that. I'm just stating the facts, trying to figure out where they do it at. I've never heard of an instance like this in my life. Nah, man. Nah, bro. And the more I think about it, the more it bugs me out. I never heard of nothing like this. I've been in the street for a long time, bro. I did it all, bro. Flip keys, sold drugs with my own money that I hustled for. On the streets. These guys don't got no blocks that they ran. What was the block? What's block? These guys got no spots. Where was the houses? Where's the spot? These guys is gangster killers. Turned rats. It's just disgusting out here. And if you mad at me for feeling this way, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is not the experience I experienced. These are not the type of gangsters I experienced. I'm sorry. What do you want me to tell you? You guys is out here doing all the wrong things. Everything y'all did is wrong, bro. I don't get it. You're on YouTube. Come on, yo. You serious? This ain't even a video no more, bro. This ain't even about no YouTube video, bro. You guys is crazy. You guys is crazy. And then, Brian Glibs, Brian Glaze Gibbs, he goes makes a video about the zip thing. Smart, bad, so smart. Me... From the perspective of telling the kids, see, nobody cares about what you did back then. They on you and this, that, and the third, and 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 and, 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 and it don't pay. 
And that was great. That was great. That's a video that's needed to show. You see, you showing the people, showing the gangsters. Yo, it ends after a while. You get old. It's not forever. That was a great video. I liked it. But. Where's my video first? It's talking about me. The guy who changed his life conscious decision. And then. Where's the other video? Talking about it's the craziest thing in the world. Zip befriending and putting videos up of people that robbed them. I know you've seen that angle. Yo. Kids can't stay in school. Stay in school. Stay away from the street. Don't be involved in the street. There's nothing there but a bunch of phony niggers. Alright? Um, try to be more like me. Try to take a different road. Not after you do 20 years. Not after. And you come home and you got a blank space in your brain and there's nothing you can do about it and you and you and you you sick out of your mind and you're telling and you're reliving all these nasty jail stories be like me take the pain of being broke sometimes i went through a lot making that conscious decision to get out i went through a lot Regular, regular, regular life in need of money. I want to do everything. But make that choice before you smash your face on a brick wall. Because after you smash your face on a brick wall and you come home and, and you're talking all these stories, the reality of it is nobody don't care. Nobody care. They look at you like a YouTube video. You're just a YouTube video that they clicked and seen you talk about your story. No, nobody care out here. So you little YouTubers that's sitting around thinking people care about your little videos and you're sitting around and you get a little bit of views or whatever's going on and you're thinking people care. Nobody cares. Your click, your button. Your button, click, I liked it, it press like it, button. Nobody cares about you in real life. Nothing, what's going on with you in real life. Soon you turn the camera or something happen, you go outside. Listen, nobody cares. Okay? Even if you get the views, nobody cares. Okay? Sammy, Sammy Page was at a standstill, okay? He knows this. He, he had to, he, see, when you do stuff that, that don't add up, that's weird and with a weird twist, that got questions in people's head on the low, that got secret questions in people's head, when you do stuff like that, you're going to get views. Because they got a lot of questions there. What are you doing? You know how many people is sitting around looking... He, now, now, Sammy is happy. He got the views. He got a couple more subscribers. He feels like, yes, it's going. No, it's the stupidest thing in the world because let me tell you something. You know how many people sitting around? A lot of the views you got from that video is people saying, why? Yeah, watch the comments in this video. <laughs> it's, real, it's getting really, it's getting, it's getting real. A lot of the views that you got from that video is people saying to themselves, Why? in the world is he posting the guy that robbed him in jail? They're not agreeing with you. If you don't, I'm, I can imagine the comments in you in this video, in his video. Yo, bro, you posting the nigga that robbed you in jail? And acting like it's some type of, okay, you forgave him, I understand, it's all good. Do what you do. Do what you do. But are you serious? Where they do that at? Yo, it's your boy. Put your put some water on your face, boy. It's your boy Pack. Put some water on your face. Subscribe to my channel. I just wanted to share that with y'all so y'all can see what it is. This is nasty work out here. These guys got no morals. So before you befriend one of these guys. Understand that anything goes with them. 
you're in a, if you're on YouTube and all this stuff with all these guys, these million dollar bums, look at this. This guy is out of his mind with his shenanigans. Now look, I want to tell you, be careful coming to YouTube. It's no joke over here. Nothing is real. These guys got no morals, nothing. And make sure you make sure you ask Sammy that question. All right, before I go, how many people in your life, Sammy, uh, excuse me, did way less of things to you? And you don't deal with them no more. And they didn't rob you and bully you and bogart and sucker you and take your drugs in jail. How many people? So now, all those people in your life that did less, of, if they did anything less to, to you than rob you and take your drugs while you was in jail and bully you like a sucker and got the whole social media world talking about that later, years later, <laughs> if they did anything less than you, less to you than that, you got to forgive them. You got to call them up. You got to befriend them. You got to get back buddies. And not only do you got to get back buddies, if they on YouTube trying to do something and they got a YouTube channel, you got to post them. You got to help them. You got to co-sign them. You got to get them some subscribers. You got to get them some friends, some likes, some comments. You got to do a lot, nigga. Because guess what? This is type of stuff you do. You let people rob you and you befriend them. Then you post them on back on YouTube. Get out of here. Don't talk to me. I'm the best at this my shit now, nigga. Yeah. Put some water on your face. You do understand this, right?